Good morning. Robert Davis Becker with you. Happy weekend to you. Hope you have a good one. This morning I'm going to talk about um, interbase and how to accomplish uh, an automatically incrementing field is because interbase does not have that functionality built into it like many other major databases do. And I think this has been a shortfall for many, many years for Interbase as you could easily get something like as simple as and nice as MS Access uh, to have auto wing fields or identity fields. Same thing in SQL Server, MySQL, things like that. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. One of the things I want to introduce you to is the uh, Interbase console or IB console software. And here it is. I'll expand this. Uh, and a uh, little housekeeping here. If I can fetch that. And you see... Uh, I can manage my databases, create them, delete them, drop them, alter them, what have you, right from IB console. It's a nice GUI interface. Um, and it's been so long since I used it, I forgot entirely about it. But uh, with your interbase installation, IB, and IB console is included from Windows in the, at any rate. So, uh, what we want to talk about is we have a, a table, and I'm going to use this one for example, test auto ink. And here's what it looks like. Uh, the structure. And we just have a ID field, which is the domain of client ID, which is an integer. And its default value is set to negative 1. We have to do that. You can't have a blank default value. It has to have a legitimate value um, in order to test this. And then we have full name, just 50 characters wide and a, and a phone. And uh, let's see, we got some dependencies here or no? Yes, uh, auto ID is the ID field. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here's the metadata to uh, build or the data definition language, whichever you like. Uh, to build the trigger and uh, to store the values and whatnot. So we'll get back to that in a little bit. Um, we'll look at the data. Sorry to close that. And here you see now. This, these two negative ones were before I figured out how to uh, sew this um, auto ink or next gen uh, field into it. And then it, I started with my lovely sister Sharon and went up to uh, some funny names. Anyway, uh, so this is the next gen field results right here one through six and let's try inserting a record you see it defaults to negative one because that's the default value and we'll say timothy robbins four 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 dash two three four five and you see it's negative one because it's not committed to the database yet. It didn't fire all the uh, things to it. But we're going to press commit right here. And you see it gets number seven. And 
Uh, we can go over here to the generators. Yeah, and so it, it sets the value, stored value, for gen next ID to seven. That would be Timothy Robbins' record in preparation for another record that would be number eight, and so on and so forth by a factor of one each. And then um, here we have uh, the existence of the trigger ID auto ID table name active yes. Uh, I haven't toyed with yes or no um, because I don't want to have holes or orphaned records. You know, that would be my thinking anyway. I don't want to have null or empty or orphaned records, child records. So leave the active set to yes. And here's the <coughs> trigger uh, sequel statement and let's see what are the dependencies yeah gen next idea dependent on these so uh, let's go over there and look at this in action in a, in a program so we'll just minimize this one of the nice things about interbase and other high concurrency databases is that you can have that open at the same time as you're working on it in a say a front-end application like we're about to look at here so here we go auto ink test and I'll open this up a little bit if I can get that guy uh, so I have a um, unit provider uh, interbase unit provider which doesn't require anything you just drop it on the form and then you put a unit connection one and do the connection editor right click on the component and here you get to select the things that you need and this is really all you need um, the default port for interbasis 3050 and the default login is this sysdba in all caps and master key in all lowercase and then i set this to my test interbase and connect that's okay and then in table one uh, it gets the connection it, it they default put that in there for you and then here's the table selection and we're using test auto wig and then here's the data source for the data components on the form and uh, Let's see what else. And the data navigator. Set to data source one. So we run this. Remember our last ID number was seven. So we'll run this. Wait a second. And let's add a new record. And we'll say this is <laughs> and then we'll post that notice I don't have the ID field showing because that's taken care of by the database engine on the back back end, uh, and so we'll add one more here and put uh, 
And then we'll just scroll off of this, go up to the first record, and then if we scroll back, you see it's committed. And like I said, we don't need the ID field on the form at all, or actually in the application at all. That's taken care of by the server back end. So we'll close this, minimize this, go over here to IB console and uh, look at our table. So we should have eight and nine in here for the last two records we posted. And sure enough, there they are. Now, I got to say this about this. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to mess with this quite a bit more, but I'm not sure that this is a very reliable way um, to handle ID fields or identity fields or auto ink fields. I'm not sure that's a particularly good, reliable way to do it because I can think of situations where, uh, for instance, you're taking a, a briefcase copy of your application out to the field and you're disconnected and you do some work at a client site, say for instance, take some orders, some measurements, some uh, requirements, things like that, and you need to upload those to the database when you get back to the office. I can see where um, this style of identity or auto increment may not be too reliable. So I'm going to have to toy with that some more and see how that goes. But let's look at the, uh, let's look at the, uh, this is what we do. You just, uh, Open an SQL window with this guy right here against the database. You can select anything in this database. You open an SQL window, and this is what pops up. And you enter your SQL here. And in this particular case, the SQL that you insert is this. I have it here in Notepad. So you create a generator and give it a name, gen underscore next ID. And then set gen generator gen next ID to zero. Well, that was when I initially got this running. So uh, what it's stored at right now is number nine, waiting for number 10 and above. And then we create a trigger called uh, clients auto ID for test auto ink and we do this on a before insert uh, test whether the new dot ID field is null or equal to negative one either of those cases are true it sets the new ID to this function gen ID this function here uh, and here's the parameters to next ID and one and then the end and then you execute that SQL statement against the database and if you have no errors you're probably good to go um, I'm not sure how this works in a situation of a query I'm using a table in Delphi uh, for this, as you see, um, I'll play with it and see about if it works with good with a query or not. But again, like I said, I, I'm not sold on the idea of 
uh, writing SQL code to manage identity fields or autoing fields. But this is the case. Let's look at that uh, uh, SQL again. And uh, that's all it takes. You just got to know where your name and, you know, your names for different things and get those right between the database and the SQL statement, blah, blah. So, uh, and this is the money maker, gen ID, gen X ID, increment by one. So, that's all there is to that. And uh, let me know. In the comments if you have any questions uh, I'd be happy to cover some more area on this I'm gonna toy with the interface here for a while and uh, because you the developer edition is free and the embedded edition is free so uh, you might like that a lot you know and as far as a SQL database goes it's it's a tried and tested database so that's all there is to that and let's get this one more time. That's the console. Run this. And we'll add, so we have uh, eight and nine already. This should be 10 and we'll Make this my dad. And then post this. And then check out. Uh, Table here uh, and data. Sure enough, there it is. Ten Hubert Davis. Blah blah blah. So don't try to overthink this. And you know, if you find this a reliable method for your case, your use case, uh, let me know in the comments. And I appreciate you spending this time with me. I've enjoyed doing it for you. My name is Robert Davis, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks. Bye.